Hi, Salation Nation. I'm Ben Glebe, one of the hosts of the Social Distancing Social Club. What are you up to today? Want to hang with us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been a fun time watching a digital show with a group of weird, wacky next door neighbors known as the Quarantine. Sure, then join us. You can. <laughs> and you already are if you're seeing this. Why am I inviting you to the thing you already at? <laughs> you cover, cover your camera for a second or your screen and then come right back and be like, oh, I'm back. So that's why I invited you. I'm one of the dumber people around. So let's bring out smarter people right now. <laughs> the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine. Please welcome Steve Hofstetter. Hello, everybody. Hello. My outfit matches Ben's energy right now. Just a gray <laughs> sweatshirt. <laughs> Uh, if you want, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com. Of course, super chat on the YouTube. I know why Ben's tired. We were up late last night. Well, I was up late last night. Actually, it was three hours earlier your time. You have no excuse. But the point is, we had a hell of a like show last bed. night. Like I went to bed right after the anniversary show. I went out. <laughs> yeah. I went out lunch a... after the anniversary show. Dude, I tried to go find a restaurant. Almost nothing was open. So Carmel and I found a. Uh, a hookah place that served food late night and we walked into it and realized we literally are walking into a place where people are intentionally blowing aerosols into the air mm. over the, there was a cloud it was like a tent of smoke and we're like let's go find a sushi place instead did that and then sang car karaoke for a couple hours so you had I, trouble I was, you, do you have trouble finding a restaurant open past 10 in los angeles dude, this is a <laughs> time. it's a different time these days <laughs> I lived in Los Angeles two months ago. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Bowers. Oh, wow. You've also never been awake late. What are you talking about? Bow wow. wow. <laughs> That's true. Steve does go over to bed when it's dark. And this is the first time I've ever seen him in not a merch shirt. So I've never seen you without a printed shirt that had your own name on it. This is really weird for me. I don't know how we're going to well, handle well, here's, this. Here's what happened. The merch company sent me this as a sample. <laughs> I a thousand percent agree with believe that there's that that is not a lie at all and and he still has a merch shirt over his shoulder he's got a merch angel and a merch devil at all times oh, telling there's him probably there's probably a merch t-shirt under the plain sweatshirt for sure he has the name under i mean his... that is the idea that there would be a merch t-shirt under this is ridiculous they may have sent me a sample t-shirt as well oh, not sure. <laughs> yes, look at that <laughs> Well, I'm gonna hit the road soon. I'm gonna start wearing suits again. So this is kind of the last time I can, you know, bum around in t-shirts and hoodies. So very cool. I'm enjoying it. Well, I got a bunch of presents I want to talk about, but I want to bring Queen Rachel in there before we unveil all the stuff I got. So Queen Rachel, how are you doing? She's here. We're excited. Are you excited? My voice has been stuck like this, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> your teeth look better though, and your lips have come back into shape. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yesterday it was it was swollen until bed. It was not great. Oh, well, not great for you. I'm sure Kevin was fine with it. Uh, <laughs> Is that why he got all a certain <laughs> He's like, oh, nice lips. Ready for bed, babe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have strings, so I'll just do this instead. So I've, I've got a lot of cool <laughs> stuff. Uh, Z Bunster, Bunce sent me some green spot whiskey, so I'm excited about that. Thank Ooh. you for that. I'm very Hi. excited. Uh, it took a couple days to get it to me because she did it on Drizzly, and they only had the uh, the P.O. box, which is in the valley, and so they kept getting the order, and they're like, I would change the address, and they sent it to me, but they sent it to the store closest to the address, and these guys are like, I'm not going to drive 40 minutes to deliver you a bottle of whiskey, dude. They kept canceling the order, so we had to change the address. That was fun. And then Anna Hood... It's trying to get me fat for Indy. She sent me homemade chocolate chip cookies, homemade fudge. This came in ice packed. It was amazing. Holy it was Kentucky shit. Bergen whiskey. Oh, I forgot to say, Dana told me if I put, if I, Buncher told me if I put uh, vegetables in this whiskey, she will murder me. So I got to make sure I just drink it. This whiskey. So I appreciate that. There's some homemade fudge. I guess, Anna, is this, um, she lives in Washington State. Is this weed fudge or just regular old fudge? I, just, I, I don't care either way. I just don't want to eat it thinking it's regular fudge and then it'd be weed fudge and then I die. They actually, in in Washington, they call regular fudge weedless fudge. <laughs> exactly. So I've got some Kentucky Burby whiskey, whiskey truffles and some uh, cinnamon fireball whiskey truffles. So I'm going to eat a bunch. I don't know if those get you drunk, but we're going to try. By so, the way, Bowers, I hate to tell you that it, that is not green spot whiskey. That is uh, blue spot whiskey. It's just been around for a couple days. So. <laughs> 
Also, you're supposed to eat this stuff on air. Secondly, is this some kind of torture you guys are trying to put me through? Oh, oh you want me to eat them on air? Yeah, I can't sure. eat, and now all of a sudden there's bugs and there's. I was trying not to eat, not to cookies, but I mean, if you want, I'll take one of these homemade fresh. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh shit! <laughs> it's some bullshit. It's some that bullshit. is a good cookie. Yeah, that also, good. Rachel, didn't you say that that the last whiskey bunt sent you left some at my place when you guys broke into my home, and then where, where did you leave it? Where did you leave it? I don't. It see might that. be at Bowers. What did we do with that Bowers? I never saw it. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure. Did I drink it all? <laughs> I don't think I drank it all. By the time I got there, I hadn't seen any whiskey. I stole the okay. box, and then his assistant came in and stole the box. I thought maybe the whiskey was in the box, but I don't think that's what happened. Yeah, ba Barris is like, <laughs> as far as I know, it was like that when I got here. So. Yeah. I, don't... I still. I think we're having a production meeting on air. Yeah, this is some bullshit, but also I still have to get my phone together and show everybody the surveillance camera photos I took of oh, Bauer and Rachel doing some weird shit in my place. Some surreptitious <laughs> great shit coming. Oh, did we do weird uh -huh. shit in your place? I don't think we did that weird shit. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let the photo evidence decide. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, just it's just photos That's of good. Bowers dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I always taste all the liquor in every house I go into. I just take a little bit of each bottle. I just swig a little bit out just to make sure it's good whiskey. So I have drank out of all the bottles in your house a little bit. Yeah, he actually Putting even does bottle. that with the cold medicine in your medicine cabinet. Yeah, I did that with the milk. Mm -hmm. Any liquid in your house, I took a little bit of it, a sip of, just to see if it was okay. <laughs> That's cool. That's anyway... Cool. Oh, fine. I rubbed my balls on all your suit jackets. <laughs> well, you've never been here. So, you know, if you came to my house, I would believe you, but you've never been to my house. So, no, I haven't been to your house, but it doesn't mean that Chrissy hasn't brought your suit jackets over for a great elaborate prank I revealed right now in a dramatic fashion. <laughs> okay. I have noticed hair. It doesn't matter. Um, we had a fun overnight game. Uh, <laughs> Basically, it was a one-year anniversary of nowhere. So, what do you what are, what are you going to gift people? And uh, Jeremy, my favorite, said for Ben Glebe, a gift wrap Bernie Sanders figurine. A gift like that is in the top one present of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need a gift receipt for this. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that that show last night was one of the best shows I have ever been a part of. Uh, virtual or otherwise, like that was insane, top to bottom. Everybody killed. It was so much fun to be part of. It. And the VIP hang, I was so tired, and I, I really so wanted tired. to go to sleep. But it was so much fun. It was incredible. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope I like. I hope I brought enough energy to it because it was the show was the the day was just insane. It was a day full of of shows and 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 entertainment and celebration. But it was an incredible time. Thank you to everybody that came and supported Nowhere. My God, it was fun. And there was even a little quick minute of an SDSC moment at the end of the show with yeah. Rachel popping on camera and joining Bowers and Steve and I. Yeah, it was uh, a good time. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, today's game, uh, before we get to- Can we, we go back to, for a sec? Yeah, yeah. we speaking had the- Speaking of hillbillies. Uh, we had the overnight <laughs> yeah. game. We had the, we had the Night King game. What is it called now? Yes, you're the Night King. The game well, I'm going to call it the Night Hillbilly. So uh, <laughs> basically what we're doing now is based on our game, we're going to have, we have the overnight game that you can play on Twitter. Um, and we're going to have another game now where those that can't watch the show during the live episodes, but still want to participate, we're doing a game where you can then still tip on Venmo and PayPal and play the game. And then I choose a winner in the mornings. Let's so, clarify, you don't have to have not watched the show. That's just, it's that, that's what sparked the idea. Yeah, but yeah, anyone, of course, can play the overnight game and uh enter submissions and then we choose one to yeah win. whether whether you watch the show like me and bowers or rachel or you don't watch the show like ben you're still welcome to participate <laughs> that's right and then we choose a winner and we choose a winner and you win a free ticket to nowhere a free ticket to the front row and you are crowned the night king did i say it right this time yes you, you say it right. right you got it right following 24 hours you're the night king you're the and lady of the night is what Ben wanted to call it. We said <laughs> you're like, you're the lady of the night, the queen of the streets. You know how it is, right? From Game of Thrones. <laughs> so, well, anyway. so we got some submissions. Uh, we got some game entries and I'm going to call it the, the night hillbilly. The hillbilly of the night is was actually the same person that won the overnight or the, the regular game. This person, Shannon Savage, is a proper hillbilly, I think, because her overnight game, it was... Um, make a song hillbilly and she had marvin Gaye's let's get her done <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations shannon that is actually hilarious <laughs> oh, queen <laughs> hillbilly <laughs> nicely done uh well today today's game um because nowhere turned one 
Uh, so today we are going to baby a song or make a song younger. Uh, so take uh, the name of a song and make it younger somehow. So for instance, um, I, they say it's your birthing or, uh, or teether. Um, <laughs> or, or how about fetus it's cold outside. Anyway, take a song. Make you, I thought that would get way more laughs. I was incorrect. Take a song. That was funny. That was funny. Thank you. I, I appreciate you letting me know afterward. And so take a song and baby it somehow or make it younger. Uh, and the way you participate, like on, like every, fuck, like always, the way you participate. <laughs> I lost my ability for words for a second. Fetus, it's cold outside. <laughs> like, and, and so then they stay in longer and they get birth later anyway the point is uh comment on any of our feet our twitter our youtube or facebook uh comment on any of our i've only been here seven months (laughs) (laughs) comment on any of our feeds but if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show as well as having a much better chance of being read on air comment with a super chat at least five bucks of a venmo paypal or uh any of that stuff and uh, we'll read those at the end and as always (laughs) if what is it bowers Huh? You're raising your finger like this. I'm about this. to tell the next thing. I'm about to do the next thing once you're done with this. I've <laughs> really should wait till full term. <laughs> right. But I would like to go out right now. I don't think you should. It will hurt. You're like, say what's in this drink? Anyway, the point is, <laughs> take, uh, and if you're in our front row, you can you get up to three entries for free. You know how it works. We're all, we're all hung over from a good show. That's how it is. <laughs> We really have, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I did before I forgot. We forgot to announce yesterday. We have a winner of the NCAA pool, which gets, I think, five free tickets to the front row. And it was Greg Murphy. Greg won yeah. by like, 40 points, 41 points. It was a huge, huge win for him. Rachel came in first amongst the hosts. Uh, I came in. Steve came in third. Um, you know why? Because I'm really good at basketball trivia stuff. Yeah. Or yeah. guessing. <laughs> or guessing. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So, you didn't. You didn't say where Ben came in. Oh, Ben came in fourteenth. Um, out of fifteenth. <laughs> out of fifteenth. There were there were there were three people that didn't put in brackets. He beat those three people. Um, so that's good. Uh, in my in the big pool, we all got decimated. Uh, well, Ben was in there too, but I think Ben came in last in that one. No, he came in thirty fourth in the other poll. So, and I came in. Uh, I was bad there. Twenty third. So we didn't win any money on the big one either. So. Uh, my but that was a my buddy uh, Shane. His thirteen year old son won, so that's kind of cool. You win your dad's basketball pole, win three hundred sixty bucks as a thirteen year old. Yeah. That's the best money you ever win in your whole life. That's probably the best that little kid will ever have in his whole. That's probably the end I of get, it. I got a te- I got a text in a, a a group of friends from college, and one of one of them showed us his bracket, and he got the finals right. He got three of the final four correct. He got the finals right, and he nailed the exact score. Wow. We were like, Jesus holy Christ. shit, how much did you win? And he goes, oh, this was a free pool. We were like, <laughs> in, in elementary school, I got in trouble one time. I got sent to the vice principal's office because I was running an NC2A pool in like sixth grade. And I, <laughs> I had like 100 kids in it. And it was one of the funniest things ever. I'm so scared I want to get suspended. And the vice principal takes out a piece of paper and he says to me, you really cannot run a gambling pool here at school, Ben. So how does it work exactly? The first round, you get two points. <laughs> <laughs> they had me explain to him how to do it because he wanted to really do it with his friends. And he was having me. Yeah, the only thing they were mad about, Ben, is that you were in sixth grade and all the people in the pool were in first grade. You were fleecing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> too, like the strikeouts of the baseball. So I get what's going on there. I wanted to, I wanted to teach them economics. <laughs> and Ben won all those little milks. <laughs> our milks traded no so milk can ever be our milks anyway introduce the front row ben. Let's get this show. <laughs> what's that i traded a lot of my shitty meals for stovetops when i was younger <laughs> people on stovetop to your middles their elementary school oh my god all right all let's right. introduce the front row man let's go <laughs> hey well, anna anyway, thanks for the cookies the audience hasn't really been laughing so far and let me say i agree with them <laughs> I would agree. We are, we're in a weird spot, but that's all right. We're going to get through it. So here we go. <laughs> all right. Oh, I, I, I just clicked the weird button. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the video front row of today's SDSC. Let's meet the Isolation Nation one by one joining us on camera today. We've got LJ Mutz and stuff joining us. Great fish in the background, Mutz. 
we've got Brad <laughs> Clark in the house, my friends. Good to have you here, Brad. We also are joined by Shannon Kerr, who is wishing a happy birthday to my brother. It's his 40th birthday. Thank you, wow. Shannon. Wow. My brother went to UCSB. It's his 40th today, and it's a special backdrop. Thank you so much. Love that. Happy birthday, Ron. He is single, by the way, ladies. He is single. I'll be posting about him a little bit later today. So <laughs> he his looks for himself and figure it out. But he's very lovely. We got David Kelly joining us from a cave. He needs to be rescued currently. He is a Chilean miner. And needs to... <laughs> got nasty Grandma Johnson joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and by the way, during the show yesterday, got obliterated. It was Alonzo Bowden correct her. It was hilarious. Yeah. That is correct. That was At the end of his set, he said, thank all of you except for Jan. Fuck you, Jan. I think that's how he ended it. <laughs> Looking like a champ. <laughs> And we've got we got we got Kay Seville is here today. <laughs> Queso, Queso, Queso Village. Village is with us. We've got we've got Vanessa O'Connor joining us today. Hello, Vanessa. Welcome, Vanessa. Welcome with Vanessa. First time we're gonna see it. Great to have you, Lakers fan. Smart choices already. I dig that. We have that. Bop, 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 bop. Hey, Sean Ehrlich is now. <laughs> Great to have you, Sean. <laughs> got a rank of Haneke, or is that? I can't tell what that uh. master of disguise she is. <laughs> <laughs> we have got Greg in the house joining us. That is quite a beard vibe. I love that. Solid look right there. We got Abby joining us. Great to have you, Abby. We are joined today also by Josepha Jojo. Snyder, UCSB, love that. Nice. Out of your love for my brother, I dig it. Thank you, Josepha. We've got, or Josepha, nobody will ever know the answer to that. Patrick Yokely. My, my favorite thing last night it was JoJo telling us a story that she, her family was concerned about her level of watching the show because they were trying to schedule a doctor's appointment. And she said, oh, I can't go that time. It's fuck it fan Friday. And yeah, they had to reschedule <laughs> And we were like, actually, go to the doctor. Don't don't prioritize. But that's it. that was awesome. Thanks, JoJo. That was amazing. Was we got the, Patrick Yoke here. Show. Yeah, she wasn't going to miss the anniversary for a doctor. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we got Patrick Yokely here wearing a dark stuff t-shirt, obviously because my brother loves dark meat over white meat. So <laughs> it's time for me to do that. And Blue Corner Bill wearing a You Are Here shirt pointing out exactly where my brother is. That is very nice of you. <laughs> Very sweet. Oh, we got Ralph Clothes oh, Error. <laughs> Yesterday's No Hair Comedy Club didn't work out. Aha, a new idea. Oh, God. <laughs> no Hair Comedy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to be a more popular idea, no doubt. <laughs> With no wear and no hair combined, that would be a different anyway. <laughs> Here at the Nowhere, No Hair Laser Hair Removal Center, we take you from hair to virtual digital hair removal in no time flat. We're joined by Anna Hood, who's here Again. today honoring my brother with that shirt because he's a big Hofstetter fan. So that's <laughs> now we know you're lying, Ben. <laughs> Actually, the way I get, came to know my brother was through your videos that somehow led him to meeting me. <laughs> uh, Jack Dostal in the house. Great to have you, Jack, and your Pikachu. I didn't need to see your Pikachu. But... Cheat. That's the cheat. <laughs> need hair removal, let me know. What's that? The cheat. Cheat. The, the cheat? That's the name of a character? It is. Why does he have a Pikachu oh, right in the middle of his stomach? <laughs> Don't yep. know. It's yep. one chest hair. It's one chest hair. That's kind of yeah, his deal. It's kind of Charlie Brownish. <laughs> Interesting. We got Lindsey Brown joining us today, everybody. Up, Lindsey. Lindsey, the camera's over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can do you. We got Ray Benjamin <laughs> joining us. Hello, Ray. Great to have you. We are joined today by Cassie Nolan with a angelic shine coming through the window. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank Berman, that's 
the authentic shirt that Christopher <laughs> Reeve wore during Superman. People were like, why would you wear a shirt of your own movie during a movie? And they cut that scene out of the movie, but it was definitely was there in the movie. Vouch for it. First time he's touched that shirt without gloves. We got Ellie Mays joining us. <laughs> Great to have you, Ellie, joining us from a kitchen with towels hanging at a reachable level, and then one just kind of pasted up on the wall there in case there's an emergency. <laughs> We got Paul McAlpine or McAlpine, depending if you're fancy, joining us with a blank water bottle on the shelf. We got Emily Ronalds here with us. Great to have you, Emily. We are also joined by Timothy Brown, only known photo of DJ Butt Galaxy. But I pictured also. I pictured it looking just like that. I love that you have Uranus right where Uranus is. That's great. <laughs> You're damn straight. We got Michael Webb in the house. Good to have you, Michael. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare touch that film strip, sir. <laughs> if you leave... If, if you leave Berman's place, we do have to do a film strip search to make sure you didn't take any. <laughs> Surprise, Adler's with us. Hey, Dave's back. Hey, Thank you, Adler. Hey. Missed you, buddy. Great to have you. He's been uh, married for a while, so he had to get the good month in before he come back and joined us. <laughs> and we've got Lady E. Corbin joining us, who will take lessons from Adler about pushing off marriage as far as humanly possible. <laughs> Adler has actually spent the last month uh, boxing up National Lampoon DVDs. So. <laughs> I, all I heard was boxing poon. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I don't either. But they're playing at the Roxbury. That's right. Not the Roxy. They're not good enough. <laughs> oh God! We also have two great comics today. Two great comics, both for Turning Champions. God, I, you know, I put these shows together. I forget I put them together, and then when I see them that, that day, I'm like, man, this is gonna be fun. Today is gonna be one of those. We got Ryan Niemeller here. Ryan, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hey, hey, happy Limb Difference Awareness Month, everybody. Where are my gifts? <laughs> it's pronounced GIF. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. But I've got some coming for you. Uh, I don't know if you're going to like them. Uh, Jen Cobra's also here. Jen, how are you doing? Hello, friends. <laughs> coming to you from a different room of the house today. Every time. Every time a different room. I, I got to switch it up. I got to switch it up. I love that. The only also, traveling I get to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hand it to Bowers with those incredible credits. Sometimes people use credits of the comics. Bowers goes, my God, am I good at booking shows? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> to my booking. Very excited to have your people that I chose to have on the show today. Am I wrong, Ben? Was this not a great You're booking right. day? Well, then show up. Well, I, I, I saw that lineup there. and I was like, damn, Bowers killed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're going to have a good day today. So, uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next comic is Bowers Booking Skills. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how things going, guys? Uh, I, I, met, I saw an emailer in the, the airport to Philadelphia on what was the hellest trip of his whole life, where like nine flights got canceled and he had to book, get to the airport at 5 a.m. That was pretty terrible, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was a little rough, but it, uh, it was worth it because uh, I got to see you, Bowers. That was... <laughs> That was enough for me. It took everything in my power not to uh, give you a big open mouth tongue kiss, as is our normal way. That is, uh, well, that is how yeah. we greet each other. Yeah. I mean, I thought we stopped doing that once I didn't own the club anymore. I thought that was just what you had to do when, you, when I owned the club. But I appreciate you <laughs> keeping the tradition alive. That's cool. You know, I, I, I'll be honest. That's how it started. <laughs> Now it's, out of, evolved, now, now it's out of love and, and respect for you. That's... If I had a dollar. Uh... <laughs> By the way, that was unrelated to what we were just talking about. Bowers just sometimes thinks, he goes, if I had a dollar. <laughs> Someone send me a dollar. And dollar. he's just picturing a dollar menu in his head. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'd have a McChicken, that's for sure. <laughs> I had a dollar for every time I wanted something off the dollar menu. Man, that'd be. <laughs> uh, Rachel, we got anything come in? Yes, we do. We had Bunce says, Ben's never going to get his whiskey. And I promised her that he will. Because uh, I just heard from Kevin that we still have it. And I didn't know that. So uh -huh. <laughs> it's not open. Yeah, ben, uh, I don't know how you didn't it. get your whiskey. Even I got some. Finish the bottle. It was great. So. <laughs> Speaking so, of. 
Thank you. I just went after inspired by Steve's story yesterday of sitting in a restaurant. I, for some reason this morning, had a craving. And by morning, I obviously mean afternoon. I had a craving and went to Denny's. And my God, I was loving it. I ordered steak and eggs and hash browns and pancakes and a side salad. And I was posting about how much I loved it. And then I got home and I, I didn't love it anymore. I didn't. <laughs> also, ben, Remember that ER Denny's ain't the place that? to get the steak. <laughs> was the best part, it was so tasty. The steak was really good. Well, just ask it medium rare and it's soft enough you can't notice the quality. Um, it was pretty good. But yeah, I did go to the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack and then a day later I'm eating all steak. Denny's. Denny's. First, first of all, it is rare that anyone orders the steak at Denny's. Second of all, you, you're not, you're not finished don't, don't. being vaccinated yet. Like the reason I went to eat in a restaurant was because I have my immunity and you're just like, you know what? If Denny's doesn't kill me, I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't ever get the steak rare at Denny's. You don't want a rare steak from Denny's. <laughs> also, sure. stay away from the salmon. <laughs> Denny's salmon is. I, th I think the Ben got worst. confused. Ben was like, <laughs> "I want my second shot," and there are all these guys with needles outside of Denny's. So. I'm gonna <laughs> No, but I feel you, Ben, because I had the same thing last night. I went and bought 100 fish sticks and ate 30 of them. I don't know why. There was a, I, had a, I hadn't had a fish stick in 30 years. I said, I haven't had a fish stick since I was a kid, and I went and bought a bunch of fish sticks, and then they were great. I had a whole bunch of them. In the every time you say fish sticks, it sounds like you're saying fish dicks every time. It does. I ate fish sticks. I love eating the dicks of fish. No, I'm talking, I said fish dicks. I was talking about fish sticks. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, I got a lot to get also, through. Dana said it's muscle relaxant day. I'm tipping in advance. Me and muscle relaxants and Venmo are a ter terrible combination. Paying in men. <laughs> Disagree. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> it's a very stupid thing to say that won't get a laugh, and I'm going to say it anyway, and I shouldn't probably. But last time I was at Denny's, I didn't take Jen's advice, and I did order the salmon. I was kind of in a hurry, and I said to my server, D, salmon, rush, D. Taylor, thank you for taking him off screen before ben, I could. <laughs> ben, you don't have to say every joke. That part of your brain that says no, don't say this one. Just listen to that part of your brain, man. <laughs> Ours. Right. He didn't even have that part of his brain. He has it. He just said he had it. He's like, I shouldn't say this. I know it's not no, going to be funny. No, 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 no. He, ha he has the part of his brain that says, I probably shouldn't say this. <laughs> <laughs> I always think there's a 20% chance it'll still be really good. And so that's why I don't do it. Like, there was one of my entries yesterday for the game. I wasn't sure if I should say it. Almost skipped it. And then that's the one Lee Lamar texted me. That's such a fucking good joke. People loved it. So you don't know. You got to take gambles. Oh, you, I see what you're, you're doing. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, Ben. That's I exactly think you right. should say every, every thought that crosses your brain, I want to hear today. And you miss 80% exactly. of the shots you do take. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, I'm not sure you should take uh, what's funny or not from Leah. That's not a good idea. I'm, I'm, totally, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. I couldn't even tell the straight face. <laughs> He's going to take that towel off her head, roll it up, and just whip. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. It was just there for the joke. Uh, we, let's get some more shadows and do a comic, right? Let's go. Matt Cross said long ago in a galaxy far, far away, and then sent a peach, a peach emoji. And that is from, indeed, Bug Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you. Alexander Breyer said it only took Ben seven minutes and 12 seconds to do the front row. So the math tells you he's getting slower. <laughs> crazy if that's accurate timing because i didn't even have anything funny to say today <laughs> we can't time ben it's half me like seriously like i gotta get through him it's part my fault so don't, don't let ben take it <laughs> look i i would love for ben to take it but it's this is partially my fault look we're gonna it's, it's like it's like a wind dated run we're gonna take two minutes off his time for taylor but the rest of it's all ben so right now you're at 517 Fair. Less than 517, then we'll do a count. That was really nice, though, of Taylor to fall on the sword. He also texted me that Salmon Rushdie joke. He's like, try this, it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but you get an A for commitment. I mean, you stay committed to it. Uh, Master just, General Technics. Go ahead. I, I can stop myself from telling jokes. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. Master General Technics said, Ladies New Dance, all the single ladies was great. <laughs> 
<laughs> Karen Nelson uh, said, for Ben and Steve, your fantastic audience was so welcoming to me. Jen Winkleplek gifted me a ticket to Ben's uh, show on Saturday. Glad to share the love. Aww. Thank you, Karen. Of our fans. Love that. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> and Every then last one, day coming day. in hot, Emily Mondalock sent the show 100 bucks and said, for the laughs, thanks for keeping this going. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right. Cool. We yeah. ready for a set? Now's the time, yes. Let's do it. Coming up next, <laughs> one of our favorites, Ryan Niemiller, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness, everybody. Like I said, happy Limb Difference Awareness Month. You're going to be, <laughs> if, if there's one thing when people see me, it's they're very aware of the limb difference. So that's very nice. <laughs> That is very nice. Uh, it's also the start. This is a good week. Uh, I know. I know. Steve's excited about this. Uh, Major League Baseball season started this week officially. That's very exciting. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. very exciting. It's uh, April fifth, and the Cubs are already twenty eight games out. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> so they still have a shot, though. They still have a shot. Um, I, it, I'm going to kind of combine those two things now: the limb difference and baseball. Because I played baseball. Like I played little league when I was young, like ages five to eight, uh, and I was good. Like, I was legitimately good. That surprises a lot of people. But when you play baseball between the ages of five and eight, you're good if you know the rules, kind of, and you don't shit your pants. Like, that is how you're good. So I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea and think I was a super athlete. Um, but, like, it, it also kind of tied in, too, because, like, as I got older, like, I still love baseball, but I kind of gave up that dream a long time ago. Uh, but when you have, a, like, a limb difference like this, people, the way they kind of, like, deal with it a lot of times is they will bring up shit that you can't do and then say that sucks. Like that's their way to kind of make you feel better about it. Uh -huh. uh, and, and the best one I ever got, like this dude, and, and he was a little drunk, I'll preface with that. I don't want to, he was he was a little toaster. He was having some good, some good times. Uh, and he saw me and after he kind of dealt with this, he was like, oh bro, dude, that sucks. Like you'll never pitch in the majors. <laughs> 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 All right, I know I can't see everybody, but um, by like a show of hands, uh, how many people here <laughs> pitch in the majors? <laughs> uh, Nobody gets to do that! That's like such a rare fucking thing. Like, why only tell Armus Ryan his dreams aren't going to come true? All right, like, why, why pinpoint me for that? Like, I was at the party, I was like, you know who else is going to pitch in the majors? You! <laughs> Anyone else at this fucking party? <laughs> Shit, is that Jim Abbott? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Did he RSVP? Is he going to be here? <laughs> uh, for those of you who might not understand that reference, I understand. Let me explain a little further because I, I, I want to get all my laughs here. I don't want you to have to do research yourself. But like, <laughs> like, like, basically the Jim Abbott reference. Right now, you could Google jim abbott and you're gonna be like oh shit mm. a major league baseball pitcher who was missing a hand that reference was brilliant mm. i should have had sex with that comedian while i had the chance that is <laughs> <laughs> to do the right thing for limb difference awareness month everybody <laughs> limb difference awareness month oh uh, I, I, I love sports I, I always played sports growing up i played football through high school i love that um one of the things though that makes me just so disproportionately angry um is like those espn stories um where you see like a kid get to like score a touchdown you know it's like a kid with down syndrome or something and they let him score a touchdown and everything's great and it's this big moment i hate those because i i played football for real and i got my ass beat because i am not what you would call athletic <laughs> i i trained for every game uh with a bag of doritos <laughs> That was how, that was like my weightlifting right there. That's what I did. <laughs> I hate those stories. I, I saw one recently that was so egregious that I'm gonna talk about it. And this might turn people against me, but realize that um, th this is kind of where I'm coming from on this. So uh, this was a story, I think it was out of Minnesota and it was about a wrestling tournament, it was like high school wrestling. And they were making this big to do, uh, this big inspiration porn story about how this kid, he was like, you know, an undefeated wrestler. And during the tournament, there was a kid on another team who had cerebral palsy and the undefeated wrestler let him win so that he would feel more accepted and feel like everybody else. 
if I would have found out anyone did that to me, I would have been fucking pissed. All right. Because I was more <laughs> taped than man by the end of my football season. Like I got my ass beat. Like you do that thinking you're making the kid feel better. Nothing is going to make that kid feel more different than you letting him mm-hmm. win. All right. If you want to make that kid feel like everybody else, what he should have done is beat the holy fuck out of him. Just toss him around <laughs> like he's a rag doll. When he woke up from his coma a month later, he'd have a big smile on his face because you didn't treat him like he was a piece of shit. So <laughs> basically what I'm saying is if any of you ever wrestle me, beat the fuck out of me, all right? I welcome this. <laughs> that is what I want. And it's only a slightly a sex thing, like 10% at most. All right, 10%. <laughs> at most. <mo. laughs> So, uh, so I'm in a relationship now. That's exciting. Uh, I, I did it, everyone. That's the most inspirational, inspiration porn thing I've ever done. I uh, <laughs> fo- found someone to love me. That was exciting. Um, I was single for a long time. And uh, the, the person I dated before who I'm dating now, uh, there was about a 10-year difference in our age, which most times is not that big a deal. You know, like if you're 35 or 25, that's not that big a deal. But sometimes when we would tell stories, it would become a little weird in that part. Um, because, uh, so I'll, tell, I'll give you an example. So I was t- we were telling some more stories. It was, uh, we're talking about prom. And for me, my prom was not a good moment. It was not a good moment. So the girl who said she was going to go to prom with me, in between that and prom, she started dating somebody else. So when we got to prom, she spent the entire time with him, leaving me all alone on the dance floor. Oh, thank you. That's very sad. And I told my girlfriend at the time that story and she was trying to be supportive. She was like, Ryan, you know, like, that's really sad. You know, I would have went to prom with you. And I was like, well, honey, that's very sweet of you. Um, But at my prom, you were eight fucking years old. <laughs> Me being alone on the dance floor would have been the least of my concerns at that point. I'm just thankful I can't be handcuffed because that's how they would try to lead me out of there that night. <laughs> and to say the relationship did not work. All right, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much. Ryan Neemiller, everybody. Ryan Neemiller. Tip yeah. jar is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal at sdscshow.com, of course. Super chat on the YouTube. Um, Ryan and I have bonded over being baseball fans. Um, your wrestling story reminded me of one of the most awkward moments in my life, which is I got to throw out a first pitch for the Brewers, and I was very excited. I have the exact level of fame where you get to throw out a first pitch and where everybody at the game goes, who? Like that's the, <laughs> that, it's it's not, it's not it's great, but it's also not great at the same time. And so... Uh, a lot of people don't realize that at first pitch, a lot of teams have multiple of them. And so they had someone go before me, and it was a child with Down syndrome and stage four (laughs) cancer. And he went right before me, and right before he throws, he just loudly goes, I'm going to throw my spin ball, and it's an eight-year-old kid, and he (laughs) spins around and throws the ball. (laughs) <laughs> and it was the most adorable and sad and uplifting thing all at the same time. And then right after they just go, and now comedian Steve Hoff said, it. I was like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, the, fir- the ceremonial first pitches are done at that point, you know? It's like, here's, here's cancer child. His last dream was to throw this pitch. And now here's noted internet douchebag Steve Hofstetter. <laughs> I was like, hey, uh, can you make a call to the bullpen, please? Take me out, coach. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> the, the worst part, though. Shoulder. The worst part was when Steve destroyed that kid for eight minutes on the mound. He was like, <laughs> the it's like you call Adam. that a spin ball? <laughs> I, I, the worst story I've ever heard, my buddy Adam went to a AAA baseball game with his company. It was oh, their first I, day. I love this story. First day of the company. He's never worked there before. It's like the first week he's working there. They go to a baseball game. as a company outing. And the guy throwing out the first pitch is from the Noble of Indiana, which is for people with del- developmentally disabled people. Or whatever. So it's, just, it's a really nice not for He doesn't know that he doesn't know what the noble of indiana is so jeff from the noble of indiana comes out and he's just a regular looking dude and he throws the pitch right in the dirt and adam just as an asshole yells nice pitch genius (laughs) and i knew i fucked up when my entire company looked at me like i was the worst person who'd ever fucking lived (laughs) 
<laughs> he goes, I literally went to my boss and put my two weeks notice. I'm like, I can't fucking work here. No. <laughs> you know, I feel a little better. <laughs> he literally screamed it. The whole stadium was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Like, that's a dick thing to do if it's just someone throwing a pitch. Right. <laughs> no, for sure. It's a dick move to that, regard. That is already someone who just failed at a dream. Like, you don't <laughs> need to yell at them. <laughs> By the way, Ryan, so it's, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the awareness month? It's limp. Uh, it's limb difference awareness month. I kept saying you were saying Limp Dick Awareness Month, which I, I thought did I was going to I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. I was like, is he saying Limp Dick Awareness? <laughs> you know what? what is that? Just like Lesbian Recruiting Month? <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually does make me feel good, though, because that means you guys don't see disability, and you assumed I was talking about my limp dick instead. <laughs> so thank you. I'll be at Ryan. I thought you I invite me to something. I thought this was an invitation to a fun party. Well, not a fun party, but a party. <laughs> Ryan, I I thought you were saying limp biscuit. My apologies. <laughs> it all applies. Yeah, really limp well. biscuit awareness month, which, by the way, is one step down from limp dick awareness month. <laughs> 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 my favorite roast joke ever by there was a comedian named John Stites it was look just as a bald dude had a chain wallet and my buddy Ryan at a, at a roast goes uh Stites looks like he like looks like uh Fred Durst fucked a loser <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and I'm like oh fuck that is <laughs> uh Rachel what do we got coming in all right. Uh, LJ Mutz and Stuff sent Ryan 10 bucks. Thanks, awesome. LJ. Ray Benjamin, five bucks. Great set. JoJo, five bucks. To start the GoFundMe boycott inspiration porn fund. <laughs> She's got your back. Uh, yeah, inspiration porn, not as sexy as it sounds, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Some of you were like, oh, shit, is that his OnlyFans? Is that what's, what's going on? It is Look, not, but I will start that if you want me to. I, I mean, I haven't worked all, in a while. Ryan, all all porn is inspiration porn, at least for a few minutes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very, very. True. I wouldn't think that all is not all. Most a great majority <laughs> of it inspires people for a good few minutes, and then you lose interest in the cause. But you, for a minute, you cared. A few minutes? Who are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Uh, Tam like, Brown. Oh, there's a hot FBI warning. <laughs> no. Tam Brown. Asian nation. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, Ryan. They're usually more perfect. No, they're not. They're no, not. I, 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 I'm feeling good about this. Okay, great. Really uh, about this. Tam Brown sent you five bucks and said, I was confused for a few minutes as to how Limp Biscuit Awareness Month is a thing. This this you. treatment I'm getting right now is why I get better parking than you. Just so you all know, all right? This is. I told her she didn't reason. want any special treatment. You said beach the fuck out of you. Don't make you feel special. Like so, fuck off. This is what we do to everybody. Ryan, this is how we wrestle. <laughs> also, I'm also, dressed like a wrestler between matches right now. It's very true. Also, Ryan, better parking, very subjective. I guess if you don't want to get steps in, it's better parking. <laughs> well, well, I can't wear a Fitbit anyway, Ben. Thanks for reminding me of that. I appreciate it. I can count my steps with a fucking abacus. All right? That's annoying. You know, Ryan, I, I, I want to do this. I want to have a wrestling match between you and Tim McLaughlin to see who was a worse wrestler. Oh, God. I would destroy Tim. I would absolutely murder He's got such a punchable face. I want to. Oh, my gosh. I will leave three-fingered handprints on him so everyone knows who fucked him up. <laughs> right, <that> is... <laughs> oh, Laughlin my. getting punched in the face is the only way Micah can get turned on, so that works out <laughs> double. I am happy to help her. She's suffering from limp dick awareness month as well. <laughs> I really enjoy how many comics not on the show that we're trashing today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tim's my favorite punching bag of all time. <laughs> I think he's everybody's, and he enjoys right. it. Oh, just he loves it. Sorry, Tim used to like every time he would host a show that I was on. 
Like, like before like AGT and all that, I used to always try to keep my disability. I didn't mention it right up front. So I didn't want MCs to mention it before I got up there. Every time Tim would be like, all right, this next guy has no fucking arms. Ryan Niemeller. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves to get his ass beat. No arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I told you what he said to me when we saw him at Christmas, Ryan. When he after you did AGT, it's one of the funniest I ever heard. What he said, <laughs> he goes, I, didn't, I don't think I heard. I told you this, but he goes, he goes, yeah, it's good to see that all the success isn't going to Ryan's arms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm going to put together a wrestling match between you two. Once, we're, once we Please are all do. Please we're going to do Laughlin versus Nee Miller wrestling pay-per-view. It's going to be amazing. Done. It'll be over very quickly. McLaughlin is a... Uh... Like anybody could beat him, right? Uh, I think so. So anyway, Ryan, Frankie Berman sent you five bucks and said, great set. Just an FYI, Steve does not care about baseball players who never played for the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. I root against some of them. <laughs> in all fairness there were a few seasons i probably could have played for the mets and improved their chances so use you out of the pen in 93 man we had john duggan sent you 10 bucks and said yub nub and then greg burns jackson 10 bucks nice set zara bending five bucks you really lion salted that set great breaking those walls down <laughs> Thank you. Uh, David Kelly sent 15 euros for Ryan and 15 euros for Jen. So thank you for that. Technics, five Canadian. Jen, uh, he said, Ryan, Jen thinks Pfizer's blue pill is promoted for Limp Ryan Awareness Month. That sign that you have back there is accurate. It's crippled threat set. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And then Zara sent another five bucks and said, for Ryan's crippled threat, Nee Miller versus Tim, the laugh in my surname is ironic. McLaughlin, pay-per-view <laughs> live at Nowhere Comedy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he calls it a comic. I know he's being ironic about one of them, but I'm not sure which. <laughs> <laughs> Por que no los dos? <laughs> uh, and then Dave Adler sent in a general full of upstate New York towns that I'm not going to, I'll be able to say one of them. I, f- I feel very confident about one of them. Well, Steve's and- going to laugh a bunch of <laughs> all of these. It's going to be I'm like- probably going to get this. I've done really community well. colleges in every single one of these towns. What do you got? <laughs> uh, Aquaga? Coxsackie? Coxsackie is correct. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it sounds then. Uh, scan Eatles? <laughs> How do you spell that? S K A N E A T E L E S, Skanettles. Yeah, Skanettles sounds like a turn Skenectidis. of the century Skenectidis. baseball yeah. player. <laughs> <laughs> Tugboat Skanettles. It's the new candy from an M and M's. All right, Adler. What about Iron Dequois? <laughs> nope. I tried to be fancy with that Iron one. Dick-way. How about this Iron Dickway? Is that one? <laughs> how about Chili? Nope. Is that one? That's nope. not how. You... It's C H I N O I. Nope. How's this pronounced? Well, let, let's see if she can get the last one first. And okay, then... and the toughest one, Chaumont. Nope. Ch- Chaumont. Nope. Chaumont's uh, what Michael Jackson used to say, right? I was going to say. You, <laughs> you, uh, you, have, you, you were pretty close with Okwaga. Okwaga. Okay. The uh, second one is Cooksacky. It's not Cocksacky? No. Nope. My my father got a speeding ticket there once, and he thought it was the funniest thing. And he kept <laughs> talking about getting a speeding ticket in Coxsackie. I mean, I, I, I guess that was better than butter nuts. But. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the skinny atlas is the one that. So the S K A N E A T E. Skinny atlas. Skinny atlas. Yes, skinny atlas. What about chili? Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> So we have <laughs> and the last ones or the the one that you think is food is chai lai chai lai of course yes see that's that's american <laughs> spelling something dumb because they don't want to sound like a foreign country so instead of chili it's chai lai that's <laughs> them putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable <laughs> <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> and the toughest one, because there's no N in it, but it's spelled with an N, is Shamo. Shamo. Come on. I, with pronunciations like that, I'm not shocked that there's a place in Texas called Paris. I'm shocked that they pronounce it that way. Like, I'm shocked that they're not like pay rice. <laughs> I thought that's where Rice University was. Okay. Anyway. Right, okay, <laughs> used to be caught up. Caught up. All right, coming next. Not on mushrooms, even though it's Wednesday. Jen Cober. I don't think if he's on mushrooms. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't not confirm that in any way. <laughs> As you know, we always do drugs on Wednesdays in this house, and so uh, today I've just I've just got a little vapor pen. It's no big deal. Uh, we, we're off the we're off the major sauce for a little while because uh, we're because we're working. All right, hi. <laughs> I want to say happy anniversary to this show. This was the first show I did when it all closed down. I hadn't talked to anybody for like six weeks and you were like come on the show and do the show and i i was so happy to connect with you it was so organic it was so wonderful everybody like had their thing to say everybody was funny and look at the bullshit it's turned into now <laughs> you guys have really fucked this up this was good once <laughs> okay I uh, <laughs> I love you guys, uh, and and I have to say uh, to Ben Glieb, uh, you look you're looking fantastic these days. Um, the your little face is so. I feel like you're eating. I, you were too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see it. Uh, speaking of eating, uh, we just had Easter. Woo! <laughs> Look, that I don't you I, I see I see you all judging me. Easter is fat kid favorite holiday by far. <laughs> fat children love Easter. A lot of people will try to tell you that fat kids love Halloween. No, we don't. <laughs> because on Halloween, y'all make us walk around for that candy. <laughs> <laughs> on Easter, that rabbit hippity hops that shit to your door. <laughs> Clearly a superior candy infused holiday. Uh, my favorite Easter candy is uh, is the Cadbury cream egg. Now you have to understand that they've done this the Cadbury people have done the same things that the Girl Scout cookie people did, which is where they hold the product back from you 80% of the fucking year and then it's only available at this one time and so you buy a ton of it uh, like a crazy person. I had 36 Cadbury cream eggs in this house. <laughs> Uh, and I had what I had done was I saved a real egg container and I put them in the egg <laughs> <laughs> and I had three of them full y'all it was so fucking happy every day and 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 here's the thing um you know I'm trying to stay healthy and and people were like what are you eating and I'm like eggs <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> sticking to eggs and uh and I was not lying so God bless me <laughs> um they what has happened now is you cannot get i went looking on amazon today for the cadbury cream eggs 24 dollars. do you hear me 24 dollars <laughs> to replace the 36 i had now that, <laughs> uh, that's a lot y'all so send in those tips mama needs cream eggs <laughs> I'm trying to make I'm trying to make an omelet I'm trying to make an omelet I'm gonna sprinkle in like some uh, Twix, <laughs> some, some toffee, be delicious. Um, it, I, I'm so addicted to to the Easter. But Easter this year was um, a little weird for me because I didn't get to to see my nana. Uh, I usually spend Easter at my nana's house because she buys the same amount of candy because she confuses Easter with Halloween. So she thinks people are coming over to get candy and I'm like, no, it's it's just gonna be me. Um, so I love going to my Nana's house, y'all. My Nana is 88 years old. She's one of the coolest fucking people you'll ever meet. And she's got the biggest TV you've ever seen. I'm not kidding y'all. 
They gave this old woman like one inch of TV for every year she's been alive. It's huge. <laughs> Ginormous. Ginormous. <laughs> and if she is awake, the TV is on. She only keeps it on the game show network. That's why she loves Ben Glebe. That's why she loves her some Ben Glebe. She keeps it on the game show network. And her favorite show is Family Feud. We watched Family Feud every day I was staying there, y'all. She, here's the thing. We were we were up late one day watching. I'm serious. It was like 3.30 uh, in the afternoon. Very, <laughs> very late. We couldn't take our eyes off of this episode, y'all, because the families were tied. The families are tied. The point value is tripled. The top three answers are on the board. Name something you put on a baked potato. My nana stands up and screams, aluminum foil. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> but when the number one answer was butter, she was pissed. When answers, when answers two and three were sour cream and chives, she lost her shit. <laughs> she stood up in the living room, y'all. She said, I have been making baked potatoes since 1952. <laughs> I've made them without butter. I've made them without sour cream. I'm not even sure what the fuck a chive even is. <laughs> but I have never, ever made a baked potato without the goddamn aluminum foil. <laughs> and then she just got up and turned the TV off. <laughs> That's my time, y'all. Thank you so much. And Cobra, everybody, so Jen. Jen Cobra. <laughs> Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SDSCshow.com. Of course, Super Chat. Cadbury on Cream the Eggs. Uh, send her a Cadbury Cream Egg. Uh, Jen, you're you're not wrong. The show used to be better. You're right. You're <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I feel like I can't say it's Ben because then my Nana will get mad at me, but it's. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I will say also watching Family Feud. Family Feud is fun because what they should say instead of we surveyed 100 people and the you know top answers are on the board, they should say we surveyed 100 idiots who stopped yeah. for a survey at a mall and were willing to do this. And here's what their <laughs> dumbasses think. Yeah. Because there's always like a couple answers where you're just like, multiple people said that? Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's that was like two people that were like, hey, I'm gonna put frogs, put frogs, just put. <laughs> like, Here are things you put in the oven, and people are like, baked potatoes, egg <laughs> and parmesan, and someone's like, babies. Oh well, baby's got three answers. <laughs> <laughs> babies is on the board. The problem, Steve's that, uh, Steve has never not known the answer to a question. So when they ask him something, like, he's not guessing. He's like, oh, the, it's tin point. He would say aluminum. <laughs> That's the number one answer for real. She could, uh, not, she could not fathom how that was not an answer. Oh, she's not she wrong. Fathom. Once you say it, I think everyone would vote for it. But you're right. I it's know. The, but... thing about it. My question is, did you throw away three cartons of regular good eggs to put the Cadbury no, no, in? Or... No, 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 no. Oh. I boiled them and dyed them for Easter. It was oh, easy. See, I'd, I'd have thrown out three cartons. I'm not an one. animal. I'm a Jew, but I'm not an animal. <laughs> Ober, by the way, I've got a special gift for your Nana, if you don't mind giving this to her. Oh, my God. She'll uh -oh. die. She'll die. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you put that, you sign it, and you put it in, a, in an envelope and send it to her. She'll be like, you know, that little Ben Glebe sent me some aluminum. Pills. With a potato. <laughs> Wait. That's, what she, that's what she calls you. By the way, she calls you that little Ben Glebe. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Not wrong. Won. Six are one. you doing oh, are you doing a show with that little Ben Glebe? Is that who you're doing it with? That little Ben Glebe? <laughs> also, wait, Ben, Ben, if you want the foil to retain its shape, put it in the microwave before you send it. <laughs> <laughs> ben, don't, ben, don't do that. I'll try it. <laughs> I will give that a go. Or just make sure your insurance policies are up to date before you do that. <laughs> why, does your, why does your Nana think I'm little? What the fuck is that about? Well, she gives ev she gives everyone an adjective, right? Oh, it's like like, he would, like this would be that. This is that scruffy Steve Hofstetter. <laughs> better nickname than little that but but little to her is like 
Adorable, she cute. She thinks she you're thinks a... You're, yeah, she thinks you're... Pre that oh, that precious one. If you went that way, that's who you should go after. No, no, it's totally <laughs> fine. It's totally fine. I'm little Ben Glee, but you can tell your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, ben, if you want to not waste space ben. throwing that out, you could just put it in the microwave. <laughs> By the way, the hardest prop has ever, Ben has ever had to find in his house was a trash can, right there. <laughs> no, it's actually in the box of trash cans. <laughs> Carmel had a trash, them, trash can theme party. He didn't understand what it was about. <laughs> I, actually, I actually have, um, I was just looking down at my shirt and I realized I have Cadbury cream egg stains on this shirt. <laughs> So I technically don't only need a, a Cadbury cream eggs. I also need a new hoodie. So bring those tips. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a, All right, I'm Rachel, we got coming in. I have, the, I have this little <laughs> shelf right here, right below my tits, and it catches everything. <laughs> well, I don't have a Cadbury cream egg, but I've got a Whole Foods um, Reese's cup. So is that's... there weed in it? No. <laughs> Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Well, yeah, it's not. Um, but, you know, we do have Ray Benjamin sent you five bucks and said for more Cadbury eggs. Thank nice. you, friend. Mm -hmm. And Pam Brown, five bucks. Not having a rabbit hippity hoppity that shit to my door is just one more way the weird ass cult I was raised in ripped me off. <laughs> Damn. I was raised in a weird ass cult, too. It's called Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve practiced Judaism the first couple weeks of the pan pandemic. <laughs> Judaism, for those who didn't get it, Judaism. He's, he was oh. a plastic doll that Ben that, that Ben gave to Steve that he'd had sex with after the pandemic started. Was, oh. See how it was better before? It was better. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. Better before. Uh, oh, I think I think you were just on mushrooms for those earlier appearances. <laughs> By the way, You're not Jen, wrong. You're not wrong. Jen, it was it was always this bad. <laughs> Maybe I was just so fucking happy to see any people. I was just <laughs> I really built it up in my head as something that was really good. And I now remember, you're just hurting my feelings. No, no, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, you're always look. It's Jen, like, Jen, if I had feelings, you would be hurting them as well. <laughs> that, well, that's what it was. I was so surprised Hofstetter was doing something good, and it, I really was. <laughs> we just took a poll. Oh, come on, Jen! Like you'd heard of me at that point. Come on, <laughs> twice, twice. <laughs> only because you won't stop emailing me. <laughs> he only emails back, Jen. He only emails, emails back. He doesn't initiate emails. <laughs> he just responds. Uh... All right, Frankie Berman sent you five bucks and said, great set. Give me the oh, Easter egg shaped Reese's peanut butter cups any day. Also, have you gone to any post Easter sales to pick up your Cadbury eggs? No, I don't leave the fucking house. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will. I'm not scared. I got a vaccine. I'm, I'm starting to leave more. You should. You can get them real cheap, like maybe $22 instead of 24. Oh man, that would be so good. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest buying your candy on eBay. I think that's your problem. I don't yeah. know. Hey, not eBay, it was Amazon. You know what it is? If you get them at the store, a lot of times they're like sticky, which means some of the syrupy goo has leaked out of it somehow. Mm -hmm. And I don't care for that. I don't know. I don't know. Syrupy goo leaks out of stuff. All right, Rach, what else we got? <laughs> <laughs> uh, JoJo sent you five bucks for half of a Cadbury's cream egg on eBay. Nice. <laughs> uh, LJ, five bucks. I know why Jen Colber said that the show's not as good as anymore. The front row is missing Zara. That could be. Oh, That's what it is. That might be. That's wrong. The Aussie factor. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, on that, Zara Bending sent you five bucks and said, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> uh, Greg Burns sent you 10 bucks and can't have Jen going without eggs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody cares about my protein levels. <laughs> Have you thought about saving them for next Easter by freezing your eggs? Leave! <laughs> <laughs> hits one out of the park! <laughs> Look at that! We didn't think you had it in you, Gleeby! My little Ben Gleeby! Gleeb, that was fantastic. That joke... The best that joke was little Ben Gleeb has told that on the show. It almost, mm -hmm. almost takes back the, the fucking Salman Rushdie. Almost. 
<laughs> we got several messages saying people like the Salman Rushdie joke. Just again proving you never know what you can. And just because your parents text you stuff doesn't mean you need to read. <laughs> 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 Tell your parents it's your brother's birthday. Stop focusing on your salmon joke. <laughs> <laughs> Zara Bending, I loved that Salman Rushdie joke a great deal. Boom. <laughs> and she says she finds me more attractive than you, Jen. That's unbelievable. Zara is unwell right now, right? So like that makes yeah. sense. Uh, this point. is Ben. Ben, that was the. It's it's signed. It says sincerely, my meds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also had Technics uh, send you a couple bucks and said, uh, Jen, Zara wishes she could be here for you, and we do too. Mm. That was great. Um, Cass Civil said, hey, Steve, how right he... Uh, Steve, you were right about the family feud surveys. There was a real question in one episode that said, what can you not do if you're tall? The number one answer, wear long pants and skirts. Oh. What? <laughs> Also, maybe when someone tips, try to say their name right, Rachel. Civil <laughs> um, Z. It's K Civil Z. <laughs> uh, let's see. We also had, I think, something last minute um, for Ryan came in from Zara. In the spirit of limb difference awareness, awareness months, care to share any positive aspects of your limb diversity? Uh, any positive aspects? Um... Uh, I have sex toy hands. That's kind of neat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to change teams now, Jen? You got to go for a little Ben Glebe and not. <laughs> not Listen, I'm not. I'm not going to say that when I saw your hands, I didn't think of it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you know what, Jen? I like you're allowed to. You're, that's my gift to you. See, live different awareness month is about giving to other people as well. Oh it's giving God. gifts. So. I got it. every time you say it, it sounds like something that's not Limp Difference Awareness Month. That time, I think you actually said Limp Biscuit that time. I really do. Uh, I, I did. Oh, you want to fuck with Limp Biscuit? You don't fuck with Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that, that, that was another thing. Like, I don't know why people didn't want to date me because, like, even just objectively, like, this is at least a good story, right? <laughs> like, even if you. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who am I to say, though? They wouldn't let me tell that on AGT for some reason, by the way. I don't know why. That was, <laughs> that was the why inspiration. Why do you guys keep spelling? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> AGT. What? America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. No, the show I, I that he I get finished it. as a pilot. It, it's a joke, fellas. It's a joke. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I do for a living, but I tell jokes. <laughs> no, but, but when we see your set in a few minutes, I'm sure we'll get the idea. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my grandma you said that. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind playing a little hard to get with your grandma. Let her know. We'll then. see what we'll see what Nana says. We'll see what Nana says. You might you might get a letter. You might get a handwritten note at the next show if there is a next show. Can this last much longer at this? Level? All right, let's finish this up then. <laughs> you have to a handwritten note in front of Ryan. Okay. You're supposed to say things that he can't do. That's fucked up. Jen, it has and it will again, I'm sure. Um, Duntalk, welcome back Duntalk. It sent you 25 Canadian, said for maybe a down payment on a hoodie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. that's, like, and that's like half a hoodie. They're like 50 bucks, thank you. Uh, Lindsay Brown, five bucks. You cracked me up extra today, and it's a little chick coming out of an egg. Nice. <laughs> and we are ready for the game now. Let's play the game. The game is Baby a Song, right? Better believe Baby it. Baby a Song. Okay, so if you're in a front row, raise your virtual hand, and I'll call on you. These were the two unpaid entries I liked. Um, I liked one officiation. You can leave the nightlight on by Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm gonna, Ami, Amina Saleh, I'm gonna pour some breast milk on me. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, starting us <laughs> off, uh, Frank Berman. I got four. I have poop in my pants, poop in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what are your entries? <laughs> <laughs> My second entry is the Queen Classic Radio Gaga. Nice. 
Then I have the poker face. Let me see your happy face. Let me see your happy face. <laughs> <laughs> then my last one is the 80s classic, the child safety dance. <laughs> Adler. All right. So I have instead of Return to Pooh Corner by Kenny Loggins, we have Return to Clean the Pooh in the Corner. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Robbins is potty trained by high school by Kenny Log. Um, <laughs> next one is Instead of Freak on a Leash by Corn, we have Kid on a Leash pulling their mom at the mall. <laughs> and the Anna. Last... Oh, sorry. sorry. And the last one, instead of Mama Mia by Abba, we have Mommy or Mama Milk by Baba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anna. So I have um, uh, here a couple of Tom Petty songs, Learning to Crawl. <laughs> and I Won't Go Down for a Nap. I <laughs> uh, also have Smells Like Teen Pregnancy. Oh, God. Oh, 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 <laughs> and I also have Dirty Diapers Change Dirt Teeth. Cheap. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have It's Not Unusual to Be Puked On by Anyone. papa has <laughs> 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 got a brand new diaper bag. Nice. <laughs> I drove all night to keep the baby asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is next, Ehrlich? Um, so I also have an ABBA one, uh, Dancing Princess. <laughs> um, and then Smells Like Baby Spirit. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Ray. Okay, um, I can already tell that I am setting the low bar again. Um, but babies just want to have boobs. <laughs> and then an older one under the playpen. <laughs> and then um, my last one, um, my sweet baby, you smell so so bad, so bad. Um, <laughs> how can the smell be that enormous? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a smell described as enormous, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> Oranga. I've got Adele changing tables. <laughs> <laughs> um, BTS with a dynamite diaper. <laughs> and uh, the pussycat dolls you want to give your auntie a smooth don't you <laughs> <laughs> that was really good <laughs> Abby. oh we can't hear you mm -mm. no it's not working we'll come back to you Jack. That's what he's doing because babies can't speak. <laughs> All right. I'll do my best to put this in, in musical context, but don't mess with my poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did you take all your clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> and I can't claim this one to be original. I'll try to do the voice, but. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> Abby? Uh, Abby, did you get it fixed? That's a no. <laughs> hey, unplug the headphones. Uh, we'll go back to you. Ellie. Brian Adams, everything I poo, I poo it for you. <laughs> <laughs> rain and then um, push me pull me in my stroller for the next four hours or i will scream the place down by pearl jam <laughs> <laughs> okay that's all of them okay. abby one more time oh that's oh. not gonna <laughs> put them in the chat i'll read them for you <laughs> uh, the emily <laughs> 
Uh, oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> not a joke, or you? We can't hear you either. Is that a, are we messing with you? Oh, there, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. there we up a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, uh, there's something, something in the air tonight. <laughs> 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 SOS, smelly offspring suspected. <laughs> nice. Lindsay. Um, oh, this is bad, but I just thought of it right off the top of my head, and I have to say, um, Marvin Gaye, let's get it on without a condom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that works. <laughs> um, and I, everyday babies. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> No. Nice. <laughs> no. No. Here we go. <laughs> her breast belt brings all the boys to her tea. <laughs> Shitting in my diaper all day. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Ra ra a a a, Roma Roma ma, ga ga ooh la la. Those are all baby sounds. <laughs> 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 You got me? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I had uh, We Are Progeny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had Jesse's Banky. <laughs> and all I want for Christmas is a non-breach birth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Bill. Okay. Um, I got uh, red, red grape juice. <laughs> did you just mute yourself shouldn't be is it there we go yep go ahead okay uh, instead of fighting music tantrum music <laughs> instead of this is america this is 13 british colonies <laughs> uh michael <laughs> Are you doing that on purpose? Yeah. I don't think he is. I don't think he is, though. You're, we can't hear you either, Michael. What the hell's going Hello? on? Hello? There, there we go. go. <laughs> okay, instead of waving my dick in the wind by we, I have waving her placenta in the wind. <laughs> uh, instead of queen's fat bottom girls, I have diaper bottom girls. <laughs> uh, and because Wank Williams III is a racist homophobe, I had to change his song, uh, Dick and Dixie, to Baby Dick and Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Paul had some. Yeah, I've got a uh, Cure, The Love Kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Busty, Year 2000. Um, <laughs> Fountains of Wayne, Stacy's Mum's Door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is there anybody else in our front row that wants to do the one on air? Wave at me. I'm not seeing any more. Okay. So Abby's were uh, pinks get the potty started. <laughs> 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 and Natalie Imbruglia's born. <laughs> <laughs> so there's also Jonathan S. Diaper genie in a bottle. <laughs> We had shat bottom diapers <laughs> <laughs> and little deuce poop. Uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Cynthia Cressel, uh, instead of devil inside, there's doo doo inside, doo doo inside, every single diaper has doo doo inside. <laughs> uh, 
she also had instead of hot for teacher i'm so bad so bad i'm not for toddlers <laughs> <laughs> cannabis jones twist and shout how to not shake a baby <laughs> oh god <laughs> Dizzy by nature, while my daughter gently weeps. Oh. <laughs> Sarah Staten by Carly Rae Jepsen, call me baby. <laughs> Amina, all about that bassinet. Bassinet. <laughs> uh, Sierra, smells like stinky diaper by Nirvana. <laughs> Amina, tit pee for two. <laughs> boingo, boingo, long last name. Unborn the fetus song by Weezer. <laughs> Josh Ritter. Baby got diaper rash by Sir Milks a lot. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, a wingo, boingo, long last name. I'll take a bath, but no scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carolina Black Label Society, not stillborn. Oh. Randy Longwire, will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm six? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hold on, I just reset something. There we go. Uh, Amina, highway to stranger danger zone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, then they had my neck, my back, change my viper, change, hold on, let me, it's too good, let me redo it. <laughs> my neck, my back, change my diaper, wipe my crack. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh Jesus Christ. Razor, smiling faces, oh wait, it's just gas by the undisputed tooth. <laughs> Gannon Savage. If I had you, I won't get to go to prom. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cat daddy. Wop. Whining and pooping. <laughs> Cannabis Jones. Pooper face by Lady Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Brown, I make big poops and I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> Amina. Diapers are dry. <laughs> Amina had under the sea section. <laughs> <laughs> and then last one, uh, Amina, how sweet it is, boobies, loves by you. <laughs> all right, that's all of them. All right, I liked a lot of those. I liked Amina had uh, my my neck, my back, changed my diaper, wiped my crack. That was really good. Um, I liked both Jonathan S's uh, diaper genie bottle and little tooth poop was funny. Uh, Ralph with the those are all baby sounds was great. I thought uh, Jax, why did you make take your clothes off was funny. Uh, Tam smells like teen pregnancy was great. But I gotta go with uh, <laughs> this was so weird from Greg. All I want for Christmas is a non-breached birth. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> um, and what was your favorite one? <laughs> Guys are so fucking weird. Okay. So, <laughs> I I also liked. Uh, why did you take all your clothes off? That was <laughs> <laughs> because I like that real song. So that one really spoke to me. I liked the one that was. Um, don't you want to give your auntie a kiss? Don't you? <laughs> that was great. Too. Uh, but my favorite was uh, uh, sitting on the dock of the bay, shitting in my diaper all day. That was, <laughs> and that's what babies do. They just shitting in my diaper all day. <laughs> Miller, what was your favorite? Uh, I'm also going with shitting in my diaper all day because that's the one that I can't get out of my head now that I miss <laughs> the entire time. So. Nice. Great. Uh, honorable mentions that you guys have not mentioned yet that I liked is the the my neck, my back, wipe my crack, uh, and then doo doo inside. But I'm gonna give it to just because uh, uh, those are all baby sounds. The Ralphs, lady. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice bed. 
Um, I also just want to mention the one that nobody mentioned, which is my diaper and my and my crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like little deuce poop a lot. I like uh, Ralph's baby sounds, but I give it to Aranka with "Don't you want to give your auntie a smooch? Don't you?" Don't you? <laughs> Steve, uh, I just I just think it's funny because of the double meaning, little deuce poop. <laughs> that means the winner is shitting all day. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the comics have decided it. Anyway, uh, claim your prize. If that was yours, email us. Uh, go to sdscshow.com. Shoot us an email. Very cool. Jen, do you have any? I'm just jamming to that song. Oh, wait. Before we do the new ones, we have to say the, so, so the, the Night King game starting oh, right yeah. now is going to be Baby a Movie. So take a movie title and turn it into something baby, and we will announce the winner on tomorrow's show for our new prize package. Yeah, or more babies, you know, like three men and two babies. You, you can know. increase the number of babies, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate and legal. When you guys explained this game to me, today's game, I was like, but like a thousand songs have baby in it. I don't fucking get, I didn't get it. And then someone you got explained it. it was much better. <laughs> Now you, now you I, I could Both. never come up with something like this. This one goes, I'm a lesbian. We don't think about babies. Mm. <laughs> Before we do ours, um, just based on what the, the game that won, uh, Cannabis Jones had some lyrics to it. Shitting in the morning, son. I'll be shitting when the evening comes. Watch it. <laughs> Shit's rolling. And then I watch my mom toss the diaper away again. Yeah, I'm shitting on the dock of the bed. <laughs> 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 what the inspiration for those lyrics was? It's interesting. Guys, do you think we should? Do you think we should stop doing a comedy show and just write songs together? Well, I think that's probably part of it. I think one hundred percent. Yeah. Did you have any game entries? You said you said you didn't understand the game. Did you have any once you figured it out? No, no, no. Okay, Ryan, you got it. <laughs> so, I didn't go that far. I don't think. I don't we think. We surveyed a hundred gens, and all of them said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I have. Uh, Master of Puppets, who's also available for kids' parties. <laughs> uh, Didn't you lose to him on AGT? <laughs> I did. He's, he's very good. He's very good. Um, Bob Dylan's The Diapers I Am a Changin'. <laughs> um, that Elvis classic, You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Puppy. <laughs> And then um, my personal favorite anthem is uh, She Only Wants Me for My Apple Juice. Quite now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ray, do you have any? No, I don't. Ben, Steve, how many you got? Uh, I just have one. I have seven. All right. Steve, do yours, and then Ben, bring us home. Uh, mine, is G mine is Jim and Juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very nice. Fade back. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I've got the Beatles classic, You Need to Hold My Hand. <laughs> I've got, If You Don't Eat Your Mash, I'll Unleash the Monsters. <laughs> Nothing compares to juice. Did you say juice or juice? Yeah, I oh. okay. Did you say limp dick? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> um, I've got the Jeff Buckley classic. They played a lot of weddings. Hauled with Puya. <laughs> uh, Madonna's classic, Just Mess Yourself. <laughs> and a song that almost ended a pandemic. Imagine all the pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. They did almost end the pandemic, that one song, and those celebrities almost saved it. If they had just gotten two more celebrities, they could have done it. Right. Yeah. No, it almost ended the pandemic because we almost all killed ourselves when we saw that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, all right, we'll wear masks, we will wash our hands, anything. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right, it's time for the song, Ben. Here we go. Hey, it's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. It's time for Lady's Doodles. I like the remix. All right, here we go. <laughs> Purposeful aerosols. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have. We're gonna have a good time. It's just Ben taking Bowers' coat for some good old ball rubbing. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for drawing that discreetly, Leeds. I appreciate that. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. I could have done some Glee. horrible things. Yeah, we didn't want to see little Ben Glee. We didn't want that. <laughs> By little again. What's with this adjective? You know why. <laughs> sorry, Ben. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The rarely seen but deadly Leedy Sniper Burn. Holy <laughs> shit. She was so indignant about it, too. So like, bad. you fucking moron. You know exactly. Thank God. So Thank God. Thank God I've got big, beautiful nipples to pull me through this. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's why it's little in comparison to the nipples. That's <laughs> Next I have, oh, uh, this way. I really can't stay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got uh, nowhere comedy, and it's just a bunch of silhouettes and naked people hidden oh by my great God. God. <laughs> So good, holy shit. <laughs> awesome. Then I've got, uh, I can make memes now using this. Oh, so nice. we've got uh... <laughs> Say the joke or what? <laughs> Wait, what's Say the, the other one say? It says, what does it even say? I can't even read it. Hang say on. the joke or say, but or, or... It says, say the joke or uh, say the joke, but warn everyone that it's shit first. <laughs> 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 I love that those are the only two choices on the board. <laughs> having a tough time with it. That I have. Do you see that kid try to throw a fucking spin ball? <laughs> I love that he's got a mic on the mound. That is hilarious. Always ready. Apparently oh, you don't see the double layer lead he's doing there. Show us that drawing again. Yeah. He's, he's doing that joke on my nipple. <laughs> I can pull up that picture. Here we freaking go. You guys missed this picture? <laughs> How badly did you miss that picture of Ben's nipple? Oh, well, <laughs> Next up, I have. Holy shit, it's late. That was, very fast, <laughs> that was clearly yeah. very fast because Lady has that picture bookmarked. I get it. <laughs> you know why, and, Ben. <laughs> and I, uh, I tried something different. You'll see what it is this way. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Amazing. All right. And then, and last but not least, another animation. This way. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for booking me, Bowers. Yeah, the, ne the next slide is Ryan Miller getting four weeks worth of work in the Midwest. <laughs> uh, my fucking AGT credit should do that, but I'm just so addicted to that. <laughs> sweet, sweet. It, uh, it's really incredible how it. before Morty's went under, it went down, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> The Bowers didn't even tell me the building was knocked down until six months after. He just kept <laughs> rolling with it. Uh, uh, all right, Lady, great job once again. I love the animation. Art for my heroes at LadyCorbin.com. Uh, awesome. Jen Cober, where do we find you at in the world and otherwise? What do we got going on? So I got a, I just taped an appearance for the Drew Barrymore show. Woo. Woo. Nice. All right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> also, uh, I got a little character arc on Black Monday, which is a Showtime show with Don Cheadle. So uh, nice. check me out on, cool. on that show if you have the Showtimes. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you next time. In fact, we'll see you in just a few minutes uh, during Origin Story. So 6 o'clock, Origin Thank Story you. specific. Yeah. Jen Cobra is the guest, so come check her out. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com uh, backslash Origin Stories. It's Patreon only. So join the Patreon. Come see Jen tonight at Origin Stories. Nee Miller, what you got coming up, right? Uh, I'm actually getting to uh, to work again. I got my uh, I'm getting my shot of the hero juice, so I'm uh, immune to everything now. Uh, everything, <laughs> so it's about to live free and fast. Um, I'm in uh, Rochester, New York, April 22nd to the 24th. I'm at Helium in St. Louis, April 29th through May 1st. I'm at the Albany Funny Bone, May 7th through 8th, and also on my Twitter, which is at Cripple Threat 8. 
Uh, it's the pinned tweet on there. I'm doing a cool thing. I bought a treadmill in December and I'm trying to like motivate myself to keep working out. So for every mile that I walk and run this year, I am donating $1 to the Uniquely Me Foundation, um, which they do a lot of limb difference awareness stuff. Well done. Uh, <laughs> I'm very clear on that. Um, so if you want to donate, I have a donation link. It's on my uh, uh, pinned tweet there. Uh, they're a really cool uh, company that reach out to me and uh, I, I like them. They do some wonderful things. And uh, if you want to help keep me from uh, dying of a heart attack at age 41, which is where my love of buffalo wings was sending me. So this is also <laughs> keeping me motivated to work out. And, and Ryan's had the treadmill for four months. He's at 11 miles. So he's raised $11 so far, which is super. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I Ryan, I got to say, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing that you're doing. But if there was anything to get me to be motivated to work out more, it would not be having to pay to do it. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, well uh, for me, it's the public shame of me promising to donate to charity. And then if I just don't, um, I, I don't think my goodwill of being handicapped will work anymore at that point. Right, so. you can just tell them. <laughs> Look, right, I think dude. Ryan's in a good thing. Let him run on his treadmill, Steve. Jesus. I'm kidding. <laughs> Mm. I'm saying I'm saying it's great. You know what, Ryan? I I'm gonna I'm gonna also donate a dollar for every mile I run on a treadmill this year. <laughs> I I'm gonna donate I, one thousand dollars for every mile Steve rides on a bike this year. So. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Uh, that is the thing I needed to learn how to ride a bike. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> I'm about to bike to Indianapolis, motherfuckers. Let's do this shit. I have a treadmill, so I will donate a dollar for every collectible I don't store on it any longer. <laughs> a dollar for each shirt hung on his treadmill. I love it. Oh, goddamn, Barris, I was about to get there. Very cool. Thank you, Ryan. We'll see you next time, buddy. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, as for me, you can find me at Bowers Comedy always. Uh, next Thursday, I'm at the Federal Bar in NoHo hosting a great show. Uh, come check that out if you want details. If you're in the Hollywood area, just shoot me a message and I will tell you how to get the tickets. Um, uh, other than that, Origin Stories tonight with Jen Cobra, 6 p.m. Pacific. Check that out. Patreon only. I'm excited about that. Ben, what you got coming up? Well, first of all, I just went and took this picture this exact moment. There you go. This is my treadmill. Hope you guys enjoy seeing that jacket hung over the front of it right there. Uh. Um, I have this Saturday Gleeb Off the Top crowd work and improvised madness. Tickets at NowhereComedyClub.com. I will also be tweeting something shortly if you would like to join the studio audience for the Brandy's Awards. Be our behind the scenes laughers and supporters that I'm hosting tomorrow. I can tell you how to come do that. It's free it should be a fun experience it would help me out a bit it could be cool it's not gonna be incredible you know what i mean so like up to you and it's a weird <laughs> great sell that's a great that's a great very sales. weird plug and then may 11th i will be uh at helium in indianapolis so get tickets at helium's website they're available now as part of our fun uh week there or a few days there whatever i don't know how fucking word can i stop talking good night hey what you got <laughs> uh adding a bunch of new tour dates uh we're about to add fort wayne indiana um, we're going to add a second day in Minneapolis because the first day is sold out. We're about to finalize Chicago. Only seven tickets left because no matter what the venue is, there are restrictions in Chicago. Uh, but uh, check my website for more. And uh, I, it's just going to be a drop-in set because I know I'm going to be rusty, so I'm not going to say where it is. But Saturday night, I'm doing my first actually live in-person set. So I'm very, very excited and or scared. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> So scared. <laughs> nice. Rach, and then catch up on for yes. you. Guys. So done talk sends Ryan 25 Canadian. I missed your set, but you're always hilarious. And then sent uh, 10 Canadian for Leedy as well. So thanks for tipping leading. Awesome. <laughs> and, cool. uh, some people wanted to clarify. So the Night King game, basically uh, same as we do for the game, sh uh, the game show, the, sh the game during the show. You just Venmo or PayPal with your game entry and five bucks. And uh, we choose a winner and you get front row tickets and nowhere shows and all that. So, yep. Cool. Awesome. Uh, all right, all right, thanks so much. We love you guys. Hope we'll see you tonight at the uh, Jen Cobra uh, Origin Stories. If not, we will see you Friday for fucking Fan Friday. Plan your doctor appointment for something else. And we will see you guys on fucking Fan Friday. Right, anything you want to say before you get out of here? Um, no. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. See you Friday. <laughs>
<laughs> Again, thank you for all the gifts. Thank you, Anna. Thank for Bunst. I appreciate all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. Uh, thanks for everybody that came to the show last night. It was great. Um, thanks for all the people that are on the Patreon tonight for the, the hang. We, again, we talked last night about just the community this is and what has grown. And it's just so awesome. And I was talking to Steve last night. Like Tam said something in the VIP or one of the moments of the idea that going to see comedy shows with the same people for a year. It'd be kind of, it's not, that's never happened before. And, Till now. It's kind of a neat thing. So I'm excited. That, I, I love how this community's kind of grown. So thanks for being here, guys, and we'll see you Friday. Love ya. Yeah, and uh, I would just like to echo what Rachel said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned Bowers there, but I think he said his community has grown so much, and that's very positive. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll just reach out for a random item. Why is this in my office? I don't know what this does. I got one of these. That organizes things, Ben. Oh, I thought I thought it was a, I thought it was a dick stretcher. Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass on both. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us, you guys. That was fun. We will see you again on Fuck It Fan Fridays on Friday. Fuck it. Okay, bye fans. What's in the dick stretcher?